Welcome to Flatter Teacher. Most of our viewers and subscribers have asked me for explaining how to run Flatter application in a real device. So, in this video, I will explain running application in a real device using VS Code. Along with that, I will explain different problems and solutions involved with the use of a real device. So, without wasting time, let's get started. Let's open the VS Code and you can see at the bottom right corner of VS Code, it is showing the selected device. So tap on this specific device. Now VS Code is showing you three different devices that has detected by it. So first one is the Chrome, then the Edge and the Windows here. You can see it haven't selected my real device. This is because I haven't connected my phone yet in the laptop. So let me take my cable here and let me attach here to my computer. So I have attached here. You can see immediately it has detected and you can see the magic now. VS Code has detected my device here. Now it is showing the four different devices here. You can see this specific ASUS here. It is a device which my, uh, means it's my real phone uh, which I want to use to run that application. So I need to tap on this option. So make sure that whatever device or whatever phone which is selected in VS Code at the bottom right side, only in that specific device your application is going to run when you tap on this run button or run option. For example, let's say if I click here, let's say if I click on the uh, Chrome here and now when I run the application, so it is going to run application in a Chrome and not inside your, uh, your real device. So make sure you should tap on the real device here and you should run application here. So let me run the application here and now let me uh, just mirror my first screen or phone screen using this scrappy. So for this, let me just open the scrappy here. I have already created a video uh, for using the scrappy using a uh, wire or using the wire also. So if you want to get more details about that scrappy, so I request you guys to go ahead and watch those videos related to scrappy here. So uh, this is what to process uh, that allows us to run a flutter application in a real device. Now let's talk about different types of problems that we are going to face while working with the real device and what are different solutions for that. Now the first problem that we usually see that when you open a VS code, you will find that VS code will detect different devices, but it won't detect your specific phone. You can see here, uh, my VS code has detected Google Chrome, Edge and the Windows, but it haven't detected my real phone. So even if you connect your phone, VS code is not going to detect your phone, but it will detect the Google Chrome, Edge and Windows. So let's talk about uh, the different reasons for this problem and how we can solve this problem. The first and the biggest reason behind this problem is not enabling the USB debugging in your phone. So being a Flutter developer, it is essential that we should go inside the settings of device and we should enable that USB debugging. So how to do that one, I will explain in brief. For this, we have to tap on the settings icon of your phone, then scroll down at the end, you will find an option called system. Once you tap on system, you will find this about phone, tap on this about phone, you have to scroll at the end and you will find an option called build number. We have to tap on this build number seven times. So as I'm already a developer, it is showing me a message that no need, you are already a developer. So let's click on the back button. Once you click on the back, you will find an option called advanced. Tap on this advanced and you will find an option called developers option. Tap on this developer option. Scroll down a little bit, you will find an option called this USB debugging. So make sure that you should turn on this USB debugging and you should turn on this developer mode. The place where I have find these developer mode, my systems option and all this then and the build number, it might be different in different types of phone. So as I'm using the stock Android that comes with this Asus phone. So this is the place where I'm getting all the settings. But based on different phones or different companies that you have, the so place of that specific uh, about phone and the build number might vary. So you have to search for your specific phone. And once you enable that specific uh, developer mode, so make sure that you should do all the settings properly according to your phone. You might have a question that you have enabled your USB debugging properly, still your VS code is not detecting your real phone. So there are chances that you might be using a faulty USB cable. So how to detect whether you have proper USB cable or not? Simply connect your phone with your laptop or computer and now if your phone is being detected by your operating system that is inside this PC or say Explorer, then you can say that your USB cable is proper and it is working in a good condition. You might have a next question that you have properly connected your phone with USB cable and that is working completely fine. Your phone has been detected in your computer or laptop. Still your VS code has not detected your device. The reason for that one is the wrong choice of your USB preferences. Whenever we connect a phone with a laptop or computer, in some uh, phones it will ask you USB preference. So make sure that whenever you connect your phone, you have to select the option called file transfer and not the option like charging or 
let's say MD or any other options. Now you might have a question, you have properly enabled your USB debugging, your cable is working properly, even you have selected proper USB preference, still your VS code haven't detected your device. So the reason for that one might be in your Flutter installation or Flutter setup. So for this purpose, we have to open the command prompt and we have to hit the command called Flutter Doctor. If your Flutter Doctor is giving error like say for example unable to locate an Android SDK or your Android SDK is not found here or you might have problems like say command line component tool is missing or Android license status is unknown. So for all these Flutter Doctor issues, I recommend you guys to go ahead and watch the video called Install Flutter which is available uh, in this channel. Link is also there in the description. So this video has the steps that you have to follow in order to install Flutter properly. Let's talk about another kind of problem called no device. Uh, when you open a VS code, uh, at the bottom right side corner of VS code, it will show you the option called no device. It means VS code is not detecting any device here. Not uh, your real device and not the built-in devices like say Google Chrome, Edge or the Windows in your system. Let's understand reason for that one. The reason for that one is invalid Flutter setup. So for this purpose, open the Flutter doctor, means open the uh, command prompt and run the command called Flutter doctor. Make sure that your Flutter doctor will show that Flutter installed properly so that you, you don't have any problem with Android license or Android tool chains or your Android path or any issues. So everything has to be properly here and you should have your VS code installed properly. And now one important thing is if you are running means if you are planning to run your Flutter in Windows then only this Visual Studio is important for you. So if you are not thinking about uh, executing your Flutter for Windows, then you can skip this particular part for your Visual Studio. Uh, even though if you skip that one or if it is having a problem, your Flutter is going to work. One more thing that we can try is to uninstall this Dart and Flutter extension in your VS Code and we have to reinstall that one. After reinstalling, make sure that you should close your VS Code and restart that one. So there are chances that VS Code will detect your device, maybe a real device or maybe the list of uh, all the built-in devices in your system.